weekend, people across our nation, including here in East Tennessee, are working to ensure that that day is never forgotten. And that includes a motorcycle club known as the Blue Knights. It is made up of active and retired police officers. And tonight, reporter Mary Klingler spoke to them about the tributes they're planning on a day they will never forget. 9-11 is a heavy day for the United States. I can't believe it's 21 years. I, I, I really cannot believe it's that long. The images that many of us watch from home are what Scott Kamian experienced firsthand. The thing to me that stays in my mind the most is the smell. I guess it was jet fuel and, and other things, but it lingered for so long, <laughs> you know. He was a detective with NYPD at the time. He spent weeks at Ground Zero helping victims and clearing rubble. I never felt this way in my entire career. Like, when you're looking back and you're saying, I hope I come home. And I never thought that way before. Many of his memories from the time are hard for him to face. Because people should know it is because they forget. But he says he will never forget. There was this one firefighter that came off the pile and he was in total shock. And, and he looked at us and he said, I've lost everybody. The firefighter Kamian encountered told him he was the only one left from his entire battalion. 343 firefighters, 39 Port Authority cops, and 23 New York City cops. And, and these poor firefighters that lost their entire battalion, their entire ladder company, their engine company. And we, and we tried to get them to stay with us. That's right. But, you know, he just, like, walked off into the night. And, you know, we never saw him again. It's stories of those nearly 3,000 people who died who sparked former KPD officer Jack Lakin's inspiration behind the 9-11 Memorial Ride. The Blue Knights ride from Level Road to Clinton Highway every year. On Sunday, hundreds of bikers will take part. Well, they'll step up and pr say something for the ones who aren't here no more. We will always remember what happened to our brothers and sisters in New York. Mary joins us now, and Mary, you learned how that NYPD officer ended up here in East Tennessee. Yeah, John Scott came in, worked in the New York Police Department for 23 years. He retired for to Knoxville in 2010, and he told me this was his very first time ever sharing his story. You can meet him and several other former NYPD officers, as well as officers from across the country this weekend at that ride, John. Grateful for their service. Mary Klingler tonight for us. Thank you. And we also have several other 9-11 events happening across our area. At 844 Sunday morning, Knoxville and Knox County leaders will be at the city county building at 846, the exact time that the plane struck the North Tower. A moment of silence will be observed then. And following that, Mayor India Kincannon will present a wreath and flowers at the base of the 9-11 Memorial. Following that, firefighters will climb the Sun Sphere as part of the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation Memorial Stair Climb. Tribute